Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that wherever you are, you're doing well. This is the last video that I'll be posting in 2022. And I asked myself, where did the months go by? It seems they went like water, right? I also want to take this time to wish all of you a very happy new year and I want to thank you also for being a part of my ministry channel, coming and watching my videos, because those things mean a lot to me. Now, when I was thinking about what kind of message to deliver to you today, I asked my husband and he said, why don't you talk to them about patience? And I thought, that's a good idea, because I know I have a problem with that sometimes. And I'm sure some of you can relate. Now, we should all try to be more like Jesus Christ in how to handle situations. Because if you think about it, when Jesus Christ was walking the earth, he had large crowds of people on a daily basis following him everywhere he went they would come asking for things healing prayers or maybe they just wanted to be around him and how did he handle it he handled it with a lot of love and a lot of patience now i know if i had been in jesus shoes I probably would have said, get away from me. But thank goodness that Jesus Christ is not like us, right? I also want to share that in 2022, the ministry celebrated 10 years as a nonprofit. And I want to also share with you a story of how I learned to be patient. 10 years ago, when I applied for my nonprofit status, I filled out the paperwork, submitted it, and it did take me about more than six months before I heard back and they awarded me that status, the nonprofit. And shortly after that, I decided to apply for the 501c3, which is issued by the IRS and it means that we're tax exempt and donations that are made to the ministry can be written off as a tax uh, deduction and I knew that the ministry needed that in order to be able to survive long term because the reality is a lot of people will not donate to a nonprofit ministry unless they can write it off on their taxes. There are a few individuals that don't care about stuff like that, but there's not too many. And so I submitted my application, like I said, for 501c3, and there was the beginning of my lesson in patience. And during that time, there was some nonprofits throughout the U.S., but also in Ohio, that had been caught doing shady things with their papers, their money. And it was a big scandal on the news. And so because of it, the IRS was not issuing that status as easily as they had been prior. And so I waited and waited and waited, and it took two years before I finally heard back from them. But in between that time, I'm questioning whether or not I did the right thing. Did I misunderstand God somehow? Did I should I even have started this nonprofit? And I would have my one-in-one -on -one conversation with God, asking him, Lord, why are you making it so difficult? 
you know I'm just trying to do what you put in my heart to do. And every time I would complain to God, the message that would come back to me is patience, patience. But that's something that I did not have too much of. And throughout that whole two-year period, I would periodically call the IRS to find out where do we stand? And every time I'd call, they would say, we're sorry, we're sorry. And I knew I had no choice but to wait and be patient. But like I said, I cried a lot. I questioned whether or not I did the right thing. I was upset. I was depressed. And then finally, Two years later, I received a letter from the IRS. And when I got it, I was afraid to open it because I knew, without a doubt, I knew that we were not going to get that 501c3 because I knew about the scandal that had happened with some of the nonprofits. And some of them in Ohio even went bankrupt. They had to close shop because of the scandal. And so I knew what chance do I have that they're going to give me this. There was no way. So I get the letter. I'm not wanting to open it. And my husband said, just open it and find out. And I did. And I was afraid to read the letter because I knew it was going to happen decline, decline, but I opened it and I started to read it and I have it here and it said, dear applicant, we are pleased. And when I read the word pleased, I knew they're not gonna be saying pleased, they're gonna be eh, denied. So I felt better said, we are pleased to inform you that upon review of your application for tax exempt status, we have determined that you are exempt from federal income tax under section 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code. And here is the date that I got it. I covered up my address. And when I read that, I was so ecstatic and so thankful. And there was God telling me, you see, I told you, be patient. And like I said, I was so thankful and appreciative. If you are at a point in your life right now where you are waiting on an answer from God, just know that Everything happens in God's perfect timing. He is not going to send you something that is not going to be good, beneficial for you. And you just need to learn to be patient. Look, I'm talking, okay? And I still have problems with that, but I'm better at it, okay? Be patient and learn to wait upon God because all he wants is for you to prosper and he's not going to send you something that is not going to be good for you. Keep that in mind. I want to thank you for stopping by and visiting with me. I hope you enjoyed the message that I delivered to you. And don't ever forget that God loves you very, very much. And I'm leaving you with my love and good wishes for 2023. My goodness, here we are, the start of a new year. And I got this at the Goodwill. It's my Goodwill mug. I hope that you'll come back and visit with us in 2023. Three.
my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie, for stopping by. Be safe, okay? <laughs>